In 2008, I took over as Cycling Town Programme Manager. We had a second tranche of funding from Department for Transport for cycling measures in the city. And at the time, we were working with, um, with the new administration as well. And uh, so we were looking at things that we could do um, under that administration that, um, that wouldn't be too controversial at the time. And one of them was a feasibility study for um, a bike park at Brighton Station. Um, so 2009, we, uh, we went out to tender on that and in 2010 we had the feasibility study um, for Brighton Station which then Southern picked up and, and ran with and I have to say hats off to Paul Best because his tenacity around this project has been um, quite incredible. Um, we started looking at locations at Brighton Station like the Hackney Carriage Road. Anyone know about the Hackney Carriage Road? Yeah, you're a local Mark, that doesn't count. <laughs> Anyone? There's an old Hackney carriage road that runs right under the station, comes up in the middle of uh, platform seven, eight, yeah. So, uh, so we looked at that. That was uh, that was an interesting visit. And uh, there's a there's a firing range. There's a firing range underneath there as well. So, um, yeah, we looked at that. We looked at where the taxis are. Very controversial. Um, could we have something there? Plus, as well, at the time, um, we had cycle parking in the area where um, there's now sort of pop-up stalls. So, sort of you know bread sellers and coffee sellers and so on and there was cycle parking there and it used to get incredibly congested and both the station and Brighton and Hove City Council wanted to improve that sort of gateway to Brighton and Hove because the majority of people when they come down to Brighton that's the way that they're heading. So the other thing was that the study told us was um, at the time was that actually this centre that you're going to see today as Paul highlighted was not in the right location. Um, you shouldn't put it any more than 20 metres from where the ticket barriers are. Um, and that, that we hadn't, what we knew was that existing cyclists were actually, majority of them were coming also from that southern side of the, um, of the station. So I guess it took a little bit of imagination as well to think about what this northern entrance might be like in years to come. And I guess Paul held on to that as well. So, and we've got what we've got today. Um, what I would suggest is that the feasibility study is in the public domain. Um, it was a piece of work that looked at European best practice. It looked at what had been done um, in the rest of the UK and uh, what had worked and what hadn't worked. And um, sort of gives you our, um, our strictly come cycle hub journey, if you will. 